Okay, it's time to visit Waco, Texas to see Magnolia Market, home of HGTV's Fixer Upper. I hope you get to see Chip and Joanna. I am going to tell you some things to make sure you don't miss in and around Magnolia Market, and I'm also going to tell you some things to do in Waco, the sweet little town of Waco. My name is Laurie and I make videos about ideas that pop on YouTube. This is in the playlist about travel, so if you're going to subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell beside the word subscribe and anytime I upload a video about travel ideas that pop into my head, you will be notified by email. Waco is such a sweet little town because you've got Chip and Joanna vibes all over the town. It's like going to Disney World for adults or women. <laughs> it's so exciting. It's so weird how giddy you get. But as soon as you drive into the town, you're going to see the Alico building. And if you have not seen my very first video that I did in all of YouTube-ness, my very first YouTube video was about our girls trip to fix our upper land in Waco. So check that out there. I go into more detail about little restaurants that we found and little hideaways. But stick around to the end of this video so I can tell you about the hidden gem that a friend told me about that's in Waco. Okay, when you're headed into town, we recommend that you go to Spice Village and eat at the Olive Branch. Now, Spice Village is this red brick building, but there are tons of shops in there. Do not miss that area. Very affordable gifts, very affordable presents for yourself. <laughs> and these are like unique, cute, the totally cute t-shirts, really cute and unique tchotchkes, things like that. Hit it in the morning and eat slowly take your time at the olive branch when no one is there and have breakfast. The pancake that the child got in our group was huge um, and my croissant breakfast sandwich was humongous and it was so delicious. It was crispy and soft and buttery and not and the bacon was perfect. The eggs were cooked perfectly. They let me take some pictures around there in that restaurant. They are super nice. There is plenty of room you can see for lots of people. Or if you want to go to Magnolia Market first and then come back here to the Olive Branch, there are other kind of restaurants. There's an Asian, there's Mexican, there's All American Burger Place. They're all right there and it's easy to park. They have a huge parking lot and you know in Waco parking is slim or it can be. So my friends and I went for the warehouse sale and you can watch my video about the haul that we got there. If you click on the little I card, that'll take you to that video. And you are going to want to find a parking place. Now there's a church right beside the silos that are standing up that you can't miss, but the church charges $10. And where I'm gonna lead you is behind the food trucks and the silos in the back. And you're gonna park right on the other side of the railroad tracks behind the food trucks, because that parking lot is only $5. And it's a quick walk, I mean 50, 50 feet from the entrance. And do you see this little sign that says Magnolia Market entrance this way? You're gonna go around the silos to the entrance. They make it really uh, pedestrian friendly to go that way. So go around that way after you've parked over by the railroad tracks for five bucks and you're gonna see the bakery. Now, when we went, it was freezing cold and misting and the line, they had about 10 people coming out the door, all right? So for the bakery, you might want to go first thing or you might want to go afternoon, come back when the crowds have gone and you've finished shopping at Magnolia Market, you've gone to lunch, you've gone to Spice Village, come back to the bakery then. Okay, now I'm giving a giveaway to those of you who leave a comment on my YouTube channel and I'm giving away this little bar necklace. I just think it is so Joanna. It's simple. It is muted. It's about 14 inches uh, long, so it's a little kind of a tight, simple one that you can wear with your t-shirts that you get at Magnolia Market. I got this at Magnolia Market on my first girl's trip, and I got these earrings the second time. Right when you walk in, you're gonna see that in the middle of the Magnolia Market, they have like a kiosk with their jewelry and their leather bags. Oh my word. Now you can pay for just your jewelry right there in your bags, right there. They all have the little iPad things that you can slide your credit card with and be done if you just want jewelry. Um, but you got to, when you walk in, sign the little welcome book. <laughs> this is so weird, but I signed on the crack 
my first trip and I wrote, I'm the first one to sign your crack. Just like we did in high school in the yearbooks. How silly is that? It's crazy. I mean, you just, you turn into a kid at Disney World when you're there. We had this sweet little girl, I think she was an intern who, um, not little girl, but an intern who is welcoming you through the doors of Magnolia Market. It is so friendly. You will see workers all over. When you walk in, it is so crowded. We were on a, there, we were there on a Saturday. But you walk in and it's so crowded, but there's a flow. So you know where to go and you're not gonna miss anything, okay? But you see the Jimmy Don signs, like I've got back there. You see all their cute and friendly, just different design elements that have Joanna's spin on all of them. Have fun looking at all that, get an inspiration for how you wanna decorate your house or have things hanging in your house. I love her Magnolia wreath. Oh my goodness. And I have two Magnolia trees in my yard here in Texas. And I don't, I need to try and make one. It is beautiful and I love it hanging on the little fence right there. Okay, also before you go, I highly recommend that you get the book, The Magnolia Story, and I will link it below on Amazon Prime for you. Um, it's just a sweet background gift book that you can read for yourself if you're going on a girl's trip and you're the one planning it. Uh, you could give everyone there that book. I think that's a good idea. And I'm also giving you a book that is by uh, Mary Kay, Mary Kay Andrews, just fun, easy reads, and it's called The Fixer Upper. Um, it's about this girl who um, has to go back to her small town that she never really knew or appreciated. Light read, you will enjoy it. It's just a great one to give to your friends if you need that. All right, and then you go towards the downstairs section, the warehouse section where they've got the major sales, they've got more t-shirts. Did you know that t-shirt sales make up 70% of their profit? I could not believe that when the worker girl told me that. Anyway, go downstairs, check out that. They now have a chips corner, which are some manly things. I will link some demo day t-shirts, the D-E-M-O, with the little arrows in there. I'll link some of those t-shirts for you below too, for your man or for you and your friends. All right, now let's get to some things to do in Waco and around Waco. Don't miss the Waco, um, the mam Woolly Mammoth, not the Waco Mammoth, the Woolly Mammoth Monument. It's a tour that you go on and it's kid friendly. They can take it. Um, it's very interesting to any kids or adults who like fossils and that kind of thing. I highly recommend it. There's also the Dr. Pepper Museum, no dot after the doctor. Um, that I would, I mean, I don't think kids will be interested in that. That's just something for you to do if you want. Okay, the suspension bridge in Cameron Park, a fabulous area to walk around right by the river. It's lighted the whole route, okay? Great place to walk. All right, in this new one, I cannot believe it's here. It is Waco Tours, and it's a van that will take you and up to 15 people on a tour around Waco, and they personalize it like crazy. I wrote them an email that was kind of hard to find. I had to track it down, but they never wrote me back. So I, I'm not sure you can look on TripAdvisor about that, or hopefully you'll get some information from them. And there's also Blue Sky Helicopter Tours, which is about a 15 minute ride around Waco. You can do it at night, the sunset, during the day, all those kind of choices for you. You are gonna see all kinds of fashion. Do you, um, do you think about what you're gonna wear to fixer upper land in Waco. I do. I want to wear denim. I want to wear leather. I want to wear boots. You're going to see all types. You got the leggings, you got the cute little dresses, and you have people who don't care a lick about what they wear. All are welcome. I love how you walk around the bakery and now the entrance is so pretty. It's very nicely laid out. Surprise, surprise. They've got swing sets now, the food trucks galore, and a coffee food truck for those of you who need coffee. They have the wooden awnings that you can sit under, bring a picnic lunch, even save some money, get up on the stage. They have lots of places for picture opportunities too. I will link this gal's um, blog where she mimicked Joanna Gaines outfits. I wanted to do that so bad, but she does it so well and I, I didn't wanna work on what's not broke. 
Um, anyway, I will link her blog below. She has like almost exact items that you can copy from how Joanna dresses in the shows and in her books and in the magazine. Okay, now are you ready? This is the hidden gem. If you will Google BSR Cable Park, it is kind of like a water park. You definitely need adults with kids. It's not like swimming pools. It's like fresh water. Uh, they have the, the United States longest lazy river and the little floaties for you, you know, the big floaties for the lazy river for you to use, but they have the Royal Flush which are these long slides that kind of pop you up at the end where you go like sailing and you land in the lakish water. It's like a pond, but um, looks very, very well visited, all that kind of stuff. BSR Cable Park Royal Flush. Look it up. It's awesome. Awesome. Got to do that. <laughs> okay, this may sound odd, but one of my friends was studying psychiatry and she visited the David Koresh compound. I, I know this sounds weird, but some people are, are passionate about studying those beliefs and um, actions. <laughs> All right, and the address is the David Koresh Branch Davidian Compound, 1788 Double E E Branch Road in Waco. And my friend, they got they got chased by guard dogs in their uh, car. You're going to see people working. You're going to see the new church that was built on the actual um, top of the original foundation um, of the building that was burned down. You know? It's eerie, It's but it might be cool to you, you know? Like, um, anyway, if, if you are passionate about that stuff or interested, um, just take a look-see, but just drive by and then leave. Get out of there. Okay, and then finally, some places that you might need to know about. Shipley's Donuts are native to Texas, and they are fabulous, better than Krispy Kreme. And that's for me, coming from Georgia. Um, Shipley's Donut VTech Barbecue is a great place, and it has a huge room for you to, to eat. It can hold lots of crowds, but the line to order is very tiny, in a very tiny space. So if you see a long line outside, don't worry, because they only have a little bit of place to stand in line. And then George O's, the original George O's, there's now a new one, but make sure you go to George O's. They call it George's. Um, very good chicken fried steak, chicken fried chicken, which is what I got. Very, very, very good. Have so much fun traveling around Waco on your girl's trip. Let me know if there's something that you want me to research next. Uh, let me know if you have fun. Let me know where you stay, what you do, anything you find that might be super interesting to other viewers. Let me know. And thanks for popping over to my Laurie Pop channel. I really appreciate you.